Arizona's most notorious fugitives has been removed from the FBI's top 10 most wanted list, despite still being on the run. Jason Derrick Brown's case is known around the country. He's accused of robbing and killing an armored car guard right outside an Awatuki movie theater back in 2004. So it begs the question, why was he taken off the list? And what does it mean for this investigation? True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney's here in the studio tonight. So this is now the second Arizona fugitive to be taken off the list this year. Yeah, Jared, that's correct. Two of the most infamous Arizona killers, Jason Derrick Brown for a random murder driven by greed and Scottsdale father and husband Robert Fisher, family murders driven by emotion. Both Brown and Fisher have never been found, so why take them off the top 10 most wanted list? The longtime FBI agent who worked Jason Brown's case says there are a couple important factors. 18 years ago, a random and brash murder changed Lena Rodriguez's life. There's never been anybody like my son. My son he was just a beautiful person. Her son, 24-year-old Keith Palomares, was working as an armored car guard and had just collected the weekend receipts from this AMC movie theater in Ahwatukee. Police say that's when suspect Jason Derrick Brown ambushed Palomares, shot him five times in the head, killing him, and took off on bike with $56,000. The case instantly gained nationwide interest and concern. It's well over 10,000 tips. I know it, at one point, um, it, it might have rivaled the most tips that any fugitive had received on the FBI's top 10 list. In that Lance way. Lysing is a retired FBI agent and worked this fugitive case since it happened in 2004 all the way to 2020. For 15 of those years, Brown was on the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list until just recently. And it's a great tool because it brings notoriety and notoriety brings tips. The, they're like gold in a fugitive case. And it has in the Brown case, no doubt. But the reality is... There was not one single corroborated sighting out of the tens of thousands of tips we received. Lysing says that's likely the number one reason Brown was taken off the list. Another factor that keeps a fugitive on the list is danger to society. I mean, he absolutely could be dangerous. This was a crime of greed, um, a, a crime of emotion. Um, if he's capable of doing it once, he's likely capable of doing it again. Lysing says with that aspect, it comes down to probability. Have we seen that or have we found evidence that he's done that again? No. And in, in these 18 years, so that threat de-escalates somewhat. And there are many other individuals that are more immediate, imminent threat to the community than Jason might be at this point in the case. Brown was taken off the list just months after infamous Scottsdale accused family annihilator Robert Fisher was taken off, a case that also has received immense media attention since 2001, yet there's been no trace of Fisher since. Lysing says while he doesn't like to speculate theories about what happened to these fugitives, he did offer this about Jason Derrick Brown. If he was alive, I believe we would have found him, but there's no direct evidence of that or proof of that. That's why the warrants will stay active. The case will stay open and they're going to continue to look for him. And to that point, Jason Derrick Brown still has two active warrants out for him. One in Maricopa County for homicide. The other is a federal warrant for unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. Lysing says while tips and leads on Brown may have been investigated faster with more urgency while he was on the top 10 most wanted list, he says any tips and leads that do still come in will absolutely be looked at. So if you have any information on Brown's whereabouts, please call the FBI or the Phoenix Police Department. Live in the studio tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. Brianna, thank you. A teenager is